surfers, it's time to go behind the scenes of the latest Disney movies. In the new movie Miracle, the 1980 U.S. Olympic hockey team takes on a team that is bigger and stronger, making the young U.S. team the ultimate underdog. To make the scenes look authentic, the actors had to go to school to learn the plays. The object here is to try to, to keep the action as real as possible. We diagram a play. We have each guy understanding where he has to go within the play, what his responsibility is on defense or offense, away from the puck or with the puck. And then we put all those elements together. And the next thing you know, you have 10 guys out there trying to win a game. Once the actors knew what they had to do, it was up to the filmmakers to put the viewers right in the action. I got to meet with the director of photography on the film, Dan Stoloff. Are there any, like, special kinds of cameras that you use? Yeah, there are. We've developed a sled cam. It's very versatile, so the operator can actually pan 360 degrees around while two skaters are pushing him. The filmmakers also used a pogo cam, which is a camera mount that resembles a pogo stick. A stuntman skates with the camera on the ice so he can get up close to the action. To capture the high angle shots, Dan told me they used a cable cam, which can soar high over crowds moving freely in any direction. Depending on the dynamics of the move and what we need to see, we pick the tool that's right for that particular move. Surfers, Miracle will be skating into theaters soon.